Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Dunlop FX500 Tool. Explosive speed combines with a spin-friendly response and easy power in Dunlop's update to the FX500 Tool. As with the previous generation, this racket benefits from Sonicore with Infinity technology added to the hoop to soften the feel at impact. To enhance the plush response and make this version even more comfortable, Dunlop has increased the flexibility of the frame, giving this racket an arm-friendly response. I enjoyed the previous version of the FX500 Tour, so I was super excited to get on court with this update. And from the first hit, I found a plusher, softer feeling response from this racket. Uh, I really enjoyed it when I was in defensive situations, when I was scrambling on the baseline and had to dig a ball out that was really tough, that had me you know, moving wide and uh, kind of off balance. I love the easy power of this racket. I could get the ball high and deep over the net with very little effort get myself back in the point, get myself back being aggressive. Um, and then when I was stepping inside and being aggressive, got super easy access to spin. This racket comes through contact so quickly, you can accelerate easy, brush the ball, get the spin that you want, and that help you tame the power of the racket and get the ball dipping inside the lines nicely. Up and net, it's plush feeling, it's comfortable. I think it's got just enough stability to it, but yet it's a very fast feeling racket in the hand, so I had a good time up there. And then on serve, uh, nice easy power again getting good pace on my T-serves, getting some nice movement when I was going wide and adding spin. And again, that access to spin allowed me to go high over the net, get the ball dipping inside the box. And so uh, easy play test for me. Easy playing with this one, really enjoyed it. This category of rackets is a tough space to play in right now. There's a ton of 98 square inch rackets that are a little heavier than that 300 grams. And I've played tested several this year that I really loved and gravitated towards. So I'm gonna be a little bit critical on this one. It just wasn't my favorite. The previous version was a racket that really did surprise me and I completely enjoyed it. And if you guys have watched some of our previous videos, you know I kind of gravitate to stiffer feeling frames. This one is noticeably softer, just not my cup of tea, but definitely more arm friendly. And that was noticeable from the very first hit. I was craving a little bit more plow through, a little bit more stability, which to me, that means this just makes a great platform for customization. Definitely one where I could play around with some more powerful strings or even add some weight here and there to get that swing weight a little bit beefier. On a positive side, I thought this was a great racket to feed and teach and hit with when you're working with players of different caliber levels because you don't want such a big racket that's gonna push that player back. So this was a really great racket for me to be able to hit a consistent ball. Um, I just was missing that put away power. Definitely felt a little bit more control oriented, but again, I just was getting too far ahead of myself sometimes when I swing big. All in all, if you're looking for that 98 square inch racket that is arm friendly and a great platform for customization, you can make this one yours. When I started playtesting this racket, the first thing that really stood out to me was how maneuverable it was being a 305 grand 98 square inch racket. Um, it definitely felt more user friendly and easier to swing than rackets in its weight class. Once I really started hitting with it, uh, two other things stood out to me besides the maneuverability and it was how much power and spin I was able to get on my shots. Uh, this racket has a really open 16 by 19 string pattern, which not only meant I was able to get tons of access to spin on my shots, but also had a little bit higher angle, uh, higher launch angle for easier depth. I really loved attacking with my forehand with this racket. Um, and I love the amount of spin I was able to get. So even on shots where I felt like I was overhitting, um, I, I love seeing that the, the spin was making it, the, my shots drop into court. Um, but the negative side of that is that I felt like this bracket is a little bit launchy because of the launch angle. And I felt like I really had to be cognizant of adding top spin to my shots if I was trying to attack the ball in order to make sure the ball landed in. Uh, but overall, this is a great racket with tons of spin, tons of power. And with its low swing weight, it's one of the most user-friendly rackets in its class. For this play test, we strung this racket up with Dunlop Explosive Tour at 52 pounds. For more information about this racket or any others, make sure you head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.